because we want to know what you want to see. Also, follow us on Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, and Snapchat at TheSirens13. So yeah, let's get on to the So for these festive Rice Krispie treats, all you are going to need is butter, marshmallows, Rice Krispies cereal. So the first thing you want to do is add like three tablespoons of butter into a pot on low to medium heat and wait until it's melted and then you want to add two cups of marshmallows and you want to stir them until they are completely melted and make sure you wash them carefully so that they don't caramelize or burn. After your marshmallows are melted you want to add your food coloring so you're going to need to make one batch of red, one batch of blue and then one you are not going to add any food coloring to. So we added our blue food coloring, and then you want to add the Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal, and then you want to stir until everything is completely coated. Next, you want to get a, cook a cookie sheet or wax paper, and then you want to press the Rice Krispies into the baking sheet and make sure it's really thin. It's probably not going to cover a entire sheet because this recipe is really small because you are going to be doing it three times. And you can spray your hands with cooking spray to make it easier to press down. And now you want to do the same exact thing to make the red one and then leave one of them without any food coloring to act as the white. So then you want to wait for it to cool and then you are going to cut it into strips and stack them on top of each other like we did here. So we did a white layer and then a red layer and then we did a smaller portion of the red and white layers and for the remaining left corner we put blue and after that you can just cut it into little squares and you are done this is super cute um another technique to do this is to just stack all of these um all of the batches on top of each other and use like a cookie press so that way it'll have all the layers and either way it looks really cute and these are super good and you'll have a lot of extras that you can eat and it's really yummy Okay, so this easy tree is literally so basic. All you need is like three ingredients. We used white melting chocolate, Oreo cookies, or whatever type of cookies you prefer. Um, and optionally, you can use sprinkles to make it look all nice. Basically, all you do is you need two or three pieces of white melting chocolate. You put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Make sure you don't burn the white chocolate. After that, we dipped our Oreo cookies into the chocolate. And depending on how many cookies you want to make is how many um, pieces of chocolate you're going to need. And then we put our sprinkles on them and let them cool and they taste really nice. They looked really nice with all of our other treats and it was really, really easy to make. So this one is definitely one of the easiest treats you can do. All you're going to need are some tortilla chips. We got some regular ones and some dark blue ones so you just add those in a bowl and mix them all together and then we also added some salsa that was red so we got like the red white and blue and it tied in and looked really good together and this treat idea is really good if you are having like a party or something and it's really last minute super easy to do you don't really have to make anything you just have to put it all together and I think it turned out really cute Okay, 
Okay, so our DIY is a really, really cute and easy patriotic heart wreath. All you need is some clothespins, red, white, and blue paint, um, a paintbrush, some stick-on stars, or some wood stars you can glue on with hot glue, and a heart frame. Okay, so I love doing DIYs and crafts, so this was so much fun for me, and I think it'll be a lot of fun for you too. So basically, all you need to do is paint everything. I started off painting my... Um, three wooden stars white, which I will be gluing onto the, to the blue clothespins later. But basically, if you have a big, like, frame, then you're going to need a lot of clothespins. But since mine was small, I bought a bag of 100, and I didn't even use, like, half of them. So, this process was really quick for me. I just quickly painted all of them, like, um, like, each with two or three layers of paint, and I let them cool. I painted equal amounts of red clothespins and white clothespins, and then only half amount of blue clothespins, and I ended up having the perfect amount to fit all around my frame. So my outfit is really cute and really simple. I am just wearing a black crop top that I got at Forever 21 with these cute cutouts on the shoulders and I paired it with a bright red skater skirt that I also got from Forever 21. So for my 4th of July outfit, I am wearing this maroon and white striped shirt from Brandy Melville and I paired it with my jean shorts from American Eagle. And then I'm also wearing my white Converse and I think this outfit is perfect if you're having a pretty chill 4th of July day and maybe you're going to be outside and running because it's really comfortable for that. Okay, so for my 4th of July outfit, I'm wearing a super casual but still kind of cute outfit. It's just light washed, ripped skinny jeans that I don't really remember where I got it from, but it has like cute little gems on it and stuff. My top is from Nordstrom. I got it as a gift. It's super, super cute and comfy. It's like a dark blue with lace detailing on the front and my shoes are just super cute baby blue platform shoes. They're actually really comfy to walk in and I thought they just made the outfit a lot more put together. And yeah, that's my outfit. Smarter than me now You're the prince of the playground